Alright guys, in this trek into DIY tech, we're going to um, do a request. So somebody asked to see uh, what the screen share looks like uh, when it when this is on the screen. Is it laggy and uh, does it look you know decent enough to show in a meeting? Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, first I'm gonna show you. <laughs> this was my my setup right for um, normally. <laughs> Uh, before I got the uh, before I got the remarkable, it was just a piece of paper on the table and a uh, a camera up there. And so during the meeting, I would just switch my camera to that. And of course, you know, not as professional looking, uh, but here we're gonna do the remarkable. I'll show you how that one works. All right, so here it goes. Uh, this is this on this side. It's pretty simple, right? So all you have to do is you open open up a quick sheet which i always have issues doing that for some reason um all right so you open up a quick sheet and you're going to see down here your options you're you're going to see the second one from the bottom you're gonna oh i was already sharing sorry <laughs> uh so you just go down here present with screen share, connect the app. And I find that if you connect, if you do that first, uh, it works better. Then you go in, in uh, you go into your remarkable app. Once you open that, um, when you open that, you're gonna see, this is what you're gonna see here. Uh, present with screen share, you accept that. And then it'll give you this little screen here. So in your meeting app, uh, what you're going to do in your meeting app is you're just going to share this. So this shows up as as a window. Uh, well, depending on which which app you have, it'll show up as a window or something like that. Um, you know, depending on which. Uh, again, uh, every every uh, meeting uh, program is different. But uh, let me do this, and this is going to be real time. So you're going to see what happens between the two. Let me move my cursor off. Um, you, you'll see what happens between the two and so you can see that um, for me there is a really um, there's really no lag between the two uh, let me do some um, some text here Uh, let's do some some of uh, some conversion. Let's see how? Ooh, oh, I messed that up. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, so we'll do some uh, conversion, and that goes pretty quick. I mean, but uh, there you can see. What's going on? When the screen flashes like that, it's re it's removing the latent image from everywhere else. Uh, so let's see. Let's try um, something that's a little more heavy. Uh, let's try the paintbrush. Um, and that one, because that one uses a lot of latent image removal. But anyway, there you go. <laughs> I mean, that's it. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty clear. It, it, it tracks very well on the screen. One cool thing though, that I hadn't shown you yet. Um, you also have blue and red down here along with the, uh, black and gray, uh, and, and the white that's almost like erasing, but it, it removes, um, as you can see there, and it's a marker, so it does what a marker would do, and it, it blends it in. But let's try the red, and you can see on the screen, um, it 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 follows what you what you're actually seeing here. Um, the thing is, when you transfer, um, when it when it resolves the image, 
um, you you'll see that on the screen um, or on your uh, the screen that you're sharing uh, during the meeting it will actually have the colors that uh, that you're putting down on your on your remarkable so <laughs> this is obviously shades of gray but uh, during the meeting you'll be able to share the colors the extra colors that you have available and uh, yeah that's it that's uh, that's uh, what you've got there all right so you see it's pretty pretty simple uh, and it looks pretty decent so I uh, hope this helps um, as always I appreciate the time you spend with me and we'll see you in the next video